the next Avatar, I would be born an air nomad. So I wiped out the air temples. Hey Sub Furies! Throughout the Avatar series, we are repeatedly told that in starting the Hundred Year War, Fire Lord Sozin ambushed all of the airbenders and wiped them out. With the exception of Avatar Aang. I talked about how the Fire Nation actually managed to reach the air temples in a previous video. You can click the link in the corner of the screen to watch that. But the idea that every single last airbender was wiped out in this attack is a little bit difficult to accept on the face of it. It's difficult to believe that not one managed to escape given that every single airbender is given a flying bison from a young age and their general tactic is to evade and avoid rather than facing and fighting. These questions were eventually addressed when it came out that some airbenders did actually survive the genocide. But if that's right, how did they survive the genocide and where were they throughout the rest of the series? Let's get started. Now while we know surprisingly little about air nomad culture before the genocide, it is implied by their name, Nomad and by Aang's stories of him traveling to Elephant Island, Kyoshi Island, all of the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nation, that the Air Nomads weren't always around their temples and their mountains, that they moved nomadically and traveled around the world a lot, meaning the Air Nomad temples actually didn't house all of them at once usually. For Avatar fans who have read the comics, this point will come as no surprise. In the short comic strip Relics, which takes place during Book 1, Water, Aang ends up finding a cave full of airbending relics and artifacts. It then turns out that this was a trap laid by Admiral Zhao to lure him in, who explains that the same tactics were used by Fire Lord Sozin, that some airbenders escaped the initial assault and proved too difficult to track down, so Sozin laid traps for them. They would be drawn to the relics and stories of surviving airbenders, just like Aang was. The airbenders who escaped the initial assault, the genocide, would be those that managed to either flee the temples or weren't in the temples at the time of the attack. So while quite a few airbenders may have managed to escape that initial assault in the airbending genocide, a number of them would have definitely been lured into these traps and captured by the Fire Nation, and then killed. But surely some even escaped those traps, Tim. That is an excellent point, Cake Topper Gandalf. This plan wouldn't be foolproof, it wouldn't be long before the other surviving airbenders got wind of the traps and avoided them like the plague. Yet in Fire Lord Sozin's memoirs, which he wrote decades after the Air Nomad genocide, and after years of traps and tracking down those that escaped it, he said, Somehow the new avatar eluded me. I wasted the remainder of my life searching in vain. I know he's hiding out there somewhere. The Fire Nation's greatest threat. The last airbender. So we do know by the end of it that the Fire Nation genuinely believed that they killed every single last airbender, with the exception of Aang. So is there any evidence to suggest that there were airbenders that actually managed to escape the initial attack on the Air Nomad temples as well as the traps that followed? The theory goes that like oppressed peoples throughout history, the airbenders went into hiding. In the Relics comic it is implied, though not explicitly stated, that the airbenders fled to safe places in the Earth Kingdom. Because of this, the Fire Nation spread rumours about the artifacts and other surviving airbenders across the Earth Kingdom more so than they did across the Water Tribes. And in going into hiding, the very few survivors that there were may have very well married and gone on to have children in order to blend in. But where are the airbenders now then, Tim? Shut up, Cake Topper Bilbo, I was getting to that. You go sit back there with Gandalf. Now I don't have time to fully go into this theory because it deserves a video or two just by itself, but it is a theory that a lot of the people in the Avatar fandom tend to believe. Harmonic convergence in Legend of Korra led to a whole bunch of new airbenders appearing across the world. The reason for these airbenders appearing is debated, but one prominent theory that I must admit I have issues with, but I'm still going to talk about it, is that the people who gained airbending powers after harmonic convergence were those who had ancestors, great 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 grandparents who were survivors from the Air Nomad genocide, who went on to blend in with the population and have children. Because you know, they, they didn't want to get freaking killed. The theory says that the airbending genes were repressed as they intermarried and had children, but harmonic convergence helped for those airbending genes to become expressed again and thereby 
new airbenders. Now I'll go into more detail about how this theory supposedly works in another video, but I was re-watching Korra for research for this one and I did notice a couple of really interesting things. Firstly, they only found probably a few dozen new airbenders all across the world, which would make sense if only a handful of airbenders escaped the genocide, avoided the traps, and successfully settled and blended in with the population. If that happened, there probably would be about that many descendants from those airbenders all these years later. Secondly, and this was the most interesting thing, when Tenzin and Kor and so on go looking for new airbenders, they find about half of them in the same region of the Earth Kingdom, which is coincidentally right next to the Western Air Temple. If a group of airbenders managed to escape the Western Air Temple and settled in this region of the Earth Kingdom, then this is where we would find a good number of their airbending descendants after harmonic convergence all these years later. Thirdly, literally all of the new airbenders were from the Earth Kingdom. Ryu, Dor, Kai, Opal, all of them, literally not a single one from the Fire Nation or Water Tribes. Which tells us it's probably not entirely random. If these new airbenders are related to the ones who escaped the genocide, then this too would make sense given it would be one of the easiest places to flee to and probably hide in. Also interestingly, they found a number of new airbenders in Ba Sing Se, which of course, at the time, would have been the safest place in the world to flee to. So why wouldn't they find any of these new airbenders in the Fire Nation? Because you know, they probably wouldn't want to like, settle in the Fire Nation. Though as I said before, I have a number of issues with this theory that I will go into in another video. Another small point is a particular airbender that survived after the genocide. Monka Fico the Betrayer. I want to be clear, if Fico the Betrayer only features in the Avatar card game, which is not clearly canon, but the story goes that he survived by being a traitor and telling Fire Lord Sozin where the airbending temples were. He was later executed by Fire Lord Sozin for being a traitor. Get what you ask for, I suppose. But I think I'll do a separate video on that whole story. So how did the airbenders survive the genocide and where were they in the series? Some escaped the attacks and a lot of them weren't in the temples. Most were lured in by Fire Lord Sozin's traps, but some airbenders avoided those too, possibly those from the northern or western air temples. They might have gone into hiding and settled and had children in kind of these regions of the Earth Kingdom. Meaning that later their great 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 grandkids ended up getting airbending powers after harmonic convergence. Though I'm not entirely sure I agree with this theory. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this kind of video tell me down below in the comments what kind of other avatar topics you would like me to talk about. My question to you Subfuries is do you think the airbenders survived and if they did how? Thank you for continuing to suggest charities to donate the official Subfury t-shirt money to. I'll let everyone chime in on that before we finally pick the charities that the money will go to. Also remember to get your Sub Fury Art t-shirt designs in for the competition. Details in the description below. In the meantime, I'd love for you to join other Sub Furies following me on Twitter, Wattpad, Facebook, emailing me or my address in the links in the description below. Stay nerdy Sub Furies, and I'll see you in the future.